This automation right here will take your favorite content, articles, blogs, and turn it into compelling content for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and even your newsletter on complete autopilot. So we essentially have an RSS feed. So it's going to watch whenever a new blog is released or whether a new article is released in your niche. And then it's automatically going to turn that into compelling content and post it for us. And it's going to be amazing. So you're going to be shocked at how simple and easy this is to set up. So let's dive into it. The first thing you are going to want to do is go onto Google and just search for the Chrome Web Store, right? So you can see that if we just click on it, we're going to search for the Chrome Web Store. And what we're gonna do is get a Chrome extension that can essentially take whatever blog we want and give us a URL that we can then give to make, which is what we're gonna to use to build the automation for free, by the way, you don't have to pay for anything. Um, and it's gonna be able to post content from this automate, uh, from this information, right? So it's gonna be amazing. Just search for um, RSS feed um, URL finder. So it's this one right here. And simply just add it to your, um, yeah, as a Chrome extension. And then just make sure you bookmark it so you can see it at the top right. And now what you're gonna do is the only thing you really need to do is just find blogs or articles in your niche. So if you are a, let's say you are let's say you wanna provide fitness content, you could go to health articles that provide daily updates around the newest health news and you could use that as your main um, ideation source so you don't have to think of ideas. Um, but for my case, I'm in the marketing and online business space so I want to make my content around you know marketing strategies insights for scaling online businesses, maybe AI and automation and things like that. So we are just going to use Starter Story. Um, most of you should know Starter Story. They are a YouTube channel that basically goes over um, startups and how they scale to like a million a year and just crazy stories about, you know, software companies and stuff like that. So you can see here that we've got the 31 best side hustles for web developers or how we built a seven figure email management app. So really great insights that we can then provide as the main source of content. Um, so this is how it works, right? So as you can see at the top right, it's already given us a, um, a URL. So this URL right here, essentially you're gonna see right now, if we just go onto Google again and search for, and this is really quick, so just keep watching. You're gonna be surprised at how easy this is. Um, but if we just search for RSS viewer, so if we click on this part right here and we just copy in the URL that it's given us, um, what this is going to do is if we quickly search for view RSS, it is going to load up the feed. So it's going to take all of this information right here and put it into a single feed. And whenever they release a new article, it's going to... Um, yeah, automatically go, right? So as you can see, it is um, putting it into a single feed where you can see here how I grew my language app to $7,000 per month. And it provides, if you go down, you see that it provides like insights into how did you land your first customers? Um, so you can see really great insights that we can then use as content for my LinkedIn, Twitter and all that good stuff. Um, so what we're gonna do now is once you've done that, we're then gonna head over to make.com. Most of you have used make.com before. It is essentially just a no code automation software where you can build uh, automations really easily for free. And that is why we use it because it's free and you don't have to enter your card info. So the first thing you're gonna add is RSS and we're essentially gonna watch an RSS feed, right? So the best part is you can simply just paste in the URL that you've gotten from the Chrome extension and maximum number of returned items we're just going to put one and we're going to click ok um, so now you'll get a few options you can put whatever you want um, we're just going to do like all rss feed items just so we have plenty of ideas that it can give to um to chat gpt and then obviously the next thing we're going to add is chat gpt because we don't want to make all of this the content right we want to be able to package it up and make it into really nice threads for content so um you know if we do ch uh, create a chat completion just make sure you connect your open ai key um you can see that if you click on this you basically need to put in your api key 
and your organization ID. It's really simple. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes. There's actually a, a thing here that you can click, which will give you online help, which is really useful. Um, and then for the model, we're going to do GPT-40. Um, and then max tokens, we're going to put 400. And then add a message, we're going to do system. And then you're going to put in your prompt. So just for context, this is the prompt that I've used. And you can pause the video and copy this. But I've basically told ChatGPT to create a professional LinkedIn post talking about the latest strategies for marketing online businesses. So use the information of the blog as a case study in the thread. Make sure it's not longer than 200 words. Uh, make sure to ask occasional questions throughout um, and make it really easy to uh, read and provide great insights. And then also, this is really important, you must tell ChatGPT to not include emojis or any punctuation because you know how AI can sometimes give that like AI feel to it. <laughs> I'm sure you all know what I mean. Um, so you want to prompt it by telling it like what to do, what not to do. And you may have to run this a few times to get the content style of writing that you like. Um, but it can be, yeah, obviously made a lot better and how you like if you do provide examples. So that's why I've said like the perfect example for my LinkedIn post or Twitter post would be Here's the five secret insights to get more customers for your SaaS. Um, and then it would say something like, don't sleep on these underground strategies. It's how, I don't know, let's say Apple added an extra 40K to their MRR and you can do the same. Obviously, that was just a, you know analogy. But um, then it gives like one, two, three, four, five points of how to get more customers. And then it gives a call to action as comment the word scale. And I'll personally send you a free whatever to help you scale right and then we get basically give chat gbt the title of the um rss feed and then the um the summary right so the summary would be pretty much all of this stuff that it can then package up and provide as like a five um you know five tips for getting more customers and scaling your online business so that is essentially what um you would put as the um as the prompt or something like this but once again you want to play around with this um because you probably have a lot more time than i do but if we just click okay um you can see that you know you can save that which is what you should be doing you should always be saving it and you should be running it um occasionally so if we run this just to see what it's going to do um and then we're almost done from this point on all we need to do is just uh, make sure it posts to LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever platform you want to post it on. But as you can see right now, it has done the first thing. So let's just quickly look at what is done here. Um, actually, if we go to the thing, we can just see what it's given us as the output. Um, so if you click on choices, plus one, messages, content. Um, so you can see here, are you seeking ways to elevate your online business marketing strategy? Look no further. I recently came across a captivating case study um, you know, detailing the journey of an entrepreneur who bootstrapped $42,000 per month with a custom software development agency. Here's a breakdown of the strategies used. So the first one targeted content marketing. So the agency built a robust blog. So yeah, referral programs, that's what they did to scale. SEO optimization, um, social proof using case studies, email marketing, um, and then these strategies. Yeah, so it gives a summary. And then it's interested in scaling, comment the word scale, right? So pretty decent. And then what we need to do now is add a router. So a router is allow us, uh, so is going to allow us to basically just distribute that onto other platforms, not just one. So, you know, we could do LinkedIn. We could do create a user text post. Just make sure you connect your LinkedIn for the content. Just put the result. And then um, for, yeah, we don't actually need mentions media type you don't need to put anything for that um just click okay and then obviously we could do x so formerly twitter create a post just make sure you connect your tweet uh your, your twitter account um we could do another one this one could be i don't know um i wouldn't really recommend instagram because you obviously need an image and i just don't think ai is good enough to be able to yeah do that for instagram yet however a really good one would just be like a Google Doc. Um, so create a document. We could call this newsletter. So if you want to actually package up the blogs on a daily basis and then turn it into a newsletter, this is how you would go about that. 
Um, so call it newsletter, content would be a result. Um, just make sure you select the right Google Drive. Just select the, the place in which you want to put it. Click OK. Um, so yeah, now um, that is pretty much it, right? So it's pretty easy. Like we've done it in almost less than 10 minutes, which is pretty damn impressive because we've essentially, yeah, gotten the RSS feed URL um, of whatever blog you want. Um, so you can just find like five to 10 blogs that you like. It's then going to, um, yeah, go through ChatGPT to make sure it provides it in a good structured, uh, you know, value-based thread. It's then going to post it onto LinkedIn, X, onto a Google Doc. Um, those are the main things that I'd recommend doing. And then all we need to do now is just make sure we schedule this every day and just put it for whatever time you want to run. So at 12 p.m. every single day, if you turn scheduling on and you... Um, you know, you just save this, what's going to happen is it is going to, yeah, essentially watch the the blog for any new posts. It's then going to do it automatically and post it on social media. Um, so that was a really quick summary. Um, now, just a quick plug. If you do want this automation and about 10 other make.com automations and free goal high level and free leads, then feel free to hop into my community. We've got about 400 plus members in here absolutely loving it um so you can see that the um you know a bunch of new members joining the value is pretty nuts we've got 40 plus hours worth of content but obviously we have a make.com automation module right here where you can get all of these um automations completely done for you so you don't have to build them yourself and you can just plug and play them with one click into your make account um and we also give you free goal level which is um one of my favorite softwares in the entire world to send emails text cold calls and all of that good stuff um there's also yeah unique ways of getting leads appointment setting sales offer creation um as well as coaching calls so that will be the first link in the description feel free to check it out if you are serious about scaling your business um but without further ado hopefully you enjoyed this video get creative with this um you know the, this automation it's pretty crazy you can also use perplexity to um you know get live news as it goes but hopefully you found this valuable if you did just drop a like subscribe and yeah, i'll put some videos up here that you can watch take it easy and i'll catch you in the next video